Wait, do not click off this video. I know what you're thinking. It's Skyrim. I don't want to watch this crap. Alright, well, listen. I know it's kind of boring at the beginning, but that's because I haven't gotten over the power ups, alright? The fun stuff will come later. You just gotta, just gotta stay with me, alright? You gotta stay tuned. Alright. Now that that's out of the way, next part. I deleted the character that I was last playing as, and I restarted a new one. This one's gonna be a dark elf, as you see in the screen right now. Still gonna be a vampire, still gonna be a uh, magic user. And. Yeah, I just thought that Dark Elf kind of had a look similar to the Vampire Lord, which should pop up right now. There we go. And, uh, yeah, so I decided to switch to Dark Elf. And, uh, yeah, I believe that's all I had to say. I uh, hope you enjoy, and thank you. Skyrim Let's Play Part 2. I should have, uh,. Are you gone over that I made a character change? And if I didn't, I did. I am now a dark elf because um the uh, the appearance, the look, I feel is closer to the vampire, <clears throat> or at least the the vampire. It's closer to the vampire, in my my opinion, because the vampire lord has gray skin and pointy ears and so does a dark elf so I kind of want to resemble that or show that but uh... yeah and because uh... vampires blend in or are supposed to blend in with like society uh, appearance the look isn't really going to change. The only big difference is maybe some of the wrinkles. I think those pop up and vampire eyes. Glow I get the glowing eyes. <clears throat> but I don't know. If I need to make him more pale, then I will. But should have already explained that, like I said. Now, right now, we are going to take on Bleak, Fa Bleak Falls Barrow. So right now I am using one handed in fire. But uh eventually I'll be using one handed in ice and electric. <clears throat> Once I get enough magicka, it will be mainly just using spells, but when I need to, I'm gonna make a custom sword or enchant my own sword. Uh and use that. I've been thinking about the enchantments. I think I'm going to go with Stallrim Sword and do a frost enchantment. Nothing like fire or electric because vampires usually uh, like the cold. Well, because they don't like heat. Alright, Jesus. God. <laughs> Coming at me like that. Alright, so the. <laughs> back to the main topic. Uh, the sword will have frost because. Uh, well, vampires. Oh. There we go. Easy peasy. It will have frost. And jeez, I'm gonna do uh, absorb life. Yeah, it'll have frost and absorb life. Now, frost enchantments on Stallrim swords or Stallrim anything are, I think it's 20% stronger. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. And uh, so that so that'll be good. Jeez, man! Never have there has there ever been this many wolves. I wanted the uh, I wanted the blade to represent like uh, draining the life, 
out of the enemy. So actually, it, w it wasn't going to be Absorb Health. It was going to be a Frost Enchantment, and it was going to be uh, it's going to be uh, Soul Trap. Sorry, had a little interruption. Take care of these guys. So the sword, what the heck? He's not taking any damage. Alright, yeah, the sword will have a frost enchantment and soul trap. Like, I'm taking the life out of them, and they just drop to a cold, cold dead body. So that's kind of the theme I was going for. Alright, sorry, another interruption. So yeah, that's the theme of my sword. I was kind of going for Ooh. All right. Let's grab this coin. Chest up top sucks. So I'm not even gonna bother going up there. Excuse me. All right, there it is. Bleak Falls Barrow. First dungeon, pretty easy. Just gonna run through it. And, um, I know the Skyrim gameplay probably isn't the most interesting. Uh, I may be staying that, I may have stayed that earlier. But, uh, that's just because we're at the beginning, alright? Get the fun stuff later. Like the Vampire Lord, which has a cool ability where you can pick up creatures and then throw them off the mountains. Like, I, I could have grabbed that guy and launched him way out there if I wanted to. With the Vampire Lord ability, which I don't have yet. Or if I had the Unrelenting Force Shout where I can blast them off. Just a bunch of ragdolls and uh, corpse launches. Yeah. You just have to stay tuned to, to watch that. Oh. Alright. Here we go. Find a couple of dead skeevers. Bandit. Uh, steel sword, because that's better than what I have. Don't need the arrows. I'm not using archery at all. Oh, I must not equip the sword. There we go. And choke slam. Burn, baby, burn. All right. Let's get this so we can get a little bit of gold. There we go. Right here, get two potions. I think two potions. Nope, just one. Right. Turn the corner and one of the stronger bandits. Stronger bandits early game. There we go. I uh, don't really need torches in this game. What am I? Am I? Oh, all right. Well, if they're stronger, might as well. All right. First puzzle. Get the symbols. That one fell off. It's right there. Snake, snake, will. So one, 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 one. 
Oh. I had it right. Okay. Move these. Move the first one once, last two, twice. Just match the pictures, but that that's just basic basic way of remembering. For me, anyways. So come down here. It's gonna be three skeevers. Oh crap. Try not to let him hit you. you can, depending on your race, you can contract the disease. So there's going to be uh, a huge freaking spider right here. And I told you guys before, I I hate when they, they do the little jumping attacks. Any kind of bug in a game that does jumping attack. If you have arrows or magic, you can cheese it from right here. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and fight it. Might die though. Let's see if I have any potions or anything. Let's drink a couple of those. Should probably put that on. Look at him. Big old, all big and crawly and hairy. Hate it. Right, let's use the remaining magic that I have. Kill myself. Alright. Cut this guy down. He has the golden claw. He actually runs away and doesn't give it to you. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? Yep. Uh, I turned up my. I think I turned up the in-game audio. Uh, if it's still quiet, you can just tell me. I'm gonna let him run. I could have just killed him back there, but I'm gonna let him run for. Or just so he can die of these things. I was hoping he would run onto that pressure plate. Show you why right now. Hey, buddy. Boom. He had a yoink. Yeah. So you grab that. You can read his journal. Just talks about his adventures into this place and how some people left him. How he probably how he got captured by the spider in the first place. But uh, I don't feel like reading that. Oh. Okay, I agree with that. All right there we go. Come down here. There's a few more. That one drops his sword. I'm gonna grab it. Because I think it does. Never mind. It does just about the same mad damage. Yeah, it dropped it. Yeah, it does the same mad damage. It's a nice sword, though. But I'm not gonna grab it. Oops. A little chain. You can pull that or not. If you have a follower, it's probably suggested. But if not, you're probably never gonna come back here, so. Alright, well, kinda low on health. Alright, uh... right, 
So these pots, these pots, you can knock down and it'll light the oil right here on fire. Come on, guys, all of you. No, I can't get past you. I can't get past you. Or you can light it up with your flame spell. You don't have to lure him out like I did and almost kill myself. It's uh, I don't know. I just did it to make it go faster. I, although it, it really didn't. So don't do that. Just once that first one's triggered, just light the thing on fire. Take this to Farangar. You see, the terminology is clearly first. Ah, yeah, yeah. I'm the dragonstone of Bli That is, my associate here will be. So your information was correct after all, and we have our friend here to go over here and disenchant the sword real quick. You went into Bleak Falls Barrow and got Actually, that? nice work. Just send me a copy when you decide. I'll use it right now. The next time I see an enchanter, I'll disenchant it. But because I can use it for the next part. Where was it seen? Good. What was it doing? What did it do? Is it attacking the watchtower? No, my lord. It was just circling overhead when I left. I never ran so fast in my life. I thought it would have come after me for sure. Good work, son. We'll take it from here. Head down to the barracks for some food and rest. Burn them. There's no time to stand oh. on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. But I haven't forgotten the service you did for me in retrieving the dragon stone for Faringar. Yep. As a so token I get of my esteem, I have instructed Avenici that you are now permitted to purchase property in the city. And please, accept this gift from my personal armory. I should come along. I would very much go. like to see this dragon. No. Minor sure grip. Let's see if those... Two-handed attacks. Well, I can disenchant those because I'm not going to use two-handed. Gonna run past. And there we go. Alright. Is there anyone by these horses? Can I just take them? Indeed, I can.
just gonna take one just to make this go faster. And there's the watchtower that we're gonna be at. Go up to this rock. Wait for an hour. There he half of them are here. Oh, there they are. I think. Oh yeah, that's her. She no starts her dialogue and we move on. This guy speaks no, to us. Get back. It's still here somewhere. Rocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. And Dragon will be appearing from over there. There it is. Save us. Here he comes again. Attacking it. Attack it from the side. Cause getting hit by the wing is a lot worse than or is, is a lot weaker than getting hit directly. There we go. It doesn't have enough health to fly anymore. Aw, oh, this guy gets to kill animation? The stupid guard does? Stole it from me, man. Well, he ate someone. Quite these dragon bones and scales, because they're very useful. Yep. And now we wait. Look at that. We can use the first word of unrelenting force shout. It's really weak. Has fast recharge, but it's really only used to stagger your opponent until we get the third stage, which completely blasts them away. Alright. So now we can just fast travel to White Run. Can't go directly to the castle because we have to hear something first. Alright, there we go. Start walking. Go ahead and talk to the Yarrow. Good. You're finally here. The Yarrow's been waiting for you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? Yeah. I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. Dragonborn. What do you know about the Dragonborn? So it's true. Greybeards, masters of the way of the voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thune or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, 
they can teach you how to use your All right, so it was at this point that I realized that I didn't get the footage of the rest of the dungeon. Basically, did a puzzle with Golden Claw, beat the boss, got the Dragonstone, right. heading back to well, Farangar right now. Now we face the dragon. Uh, we have to go to Hyfrothgar, meet the Greybeards, and next, uh, learn the next couple words of the Unrelenting Force Shout. And, uh, yeah. So I think that's where I'm going to end this episode. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.